Yo, what's going on, YouTube? I'm back at it with another episode, episode two of Inside My Mind. And I'm going to do it on me versus Dragon at Celtic Throwdown. And I also, I apologize for it being a while since I released another episode. I've been kind of cut up with school and just streaming in general. Uh, by the way, if you guys don't know, in the description, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash rewindnv. Same shit on everything. Um, but yeah, let's get right into this. It shouldn't be as long as the last one. All right, you already know the vibes. We're skipping button check, all that. We're getting straight to it. Well, actually, we didn't skip button check, but I edited that part out. So, all right, let's go. Let me make sure that this shit is on HD because this shit is looking real sus. It wasn't on HD. Still not on HD. All right, let's go. Definitely, desperately. All right, so um, shit, this was so long ago, bro. I'm trying to, I'm gonna start trying to do a bunch of these matches with these kind of pro level players, um, and try to work my way up the ladder till we get to around today. Um, who reacts to that teleport? All right, so me and Dragon actually back then used to play this matchup a lot, so I kind of had like a good feel for the matchup already heading into it. Unlike a lot of people, you know, I actually get to play these people a lot, so a lot of people don't get that. A little slight download heading into a tournament match. And this is actually the first time we've ever played offline. Damn, eight four hundred. Yeah, he's just abusing me right now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of at this point just waiting for him to do something that allows me to flying kick him. And I read that shit. I read it hard. So, yep, I, I had a feeling he was gonna grab. So since I was so ready for him to grab, I ducked it and punished optimally. That 3-4-3 three, three into the Fatal Blow was the most optimal punish I can get. And if I didn't do if I did anything besides that, it probably wouldn't have killed. And I was able to get him off his breakaway too. And by the way, this is back when breakaways was actually would actually scale your Fatal Blow damage. Now they do more if you break. That's why you might see people breaking and shit. But yeah, Dragon by far is the best set round in this matchup. A lot of set rounds actually think this shit is bad, but if a Liu Kang player plays Dragon, you would probably think this is 5-5. Five, five. The one two to, I actually did the 1-2 to check his dash, but he jumped over me and I went under him and actually got the corner position. Got the throw loose going. By the way, if you guys don't remember, 9 frame forward for Liu. As you can hear, Aquaman's on the mic talking about how I don't use 1-2. Because this is back when 4-4 forward, forward is 9 frames. I was not using 1-2. Hit him with the counter. Ooh, hold on. Let me actually rewind that. So, I hit him with 4-4. Forward, forward, got the counter hit, right? Because he tried to fraud me. He tried to do something that wasn't that. It was very... Like, 4-2 is... Actually, 4-2 might be... No, I think 4-2... I think it's safe. But even then, it's, a, it's very minus. Meaning, he tried to backdash after it. Which he's not allowed to do against Lou. Caught him with forward four. Also, if you hit somebody in the middle of dashing, counts as a counter hit. So I saw it, saw it, I saw it counter hit it, and then I confirmed into um, the rest of the string, which led to the KB, and then I got the the flying kick. So he lost his meter. Then he got flying kicked, which added on some damage. Then he was in a situation. Let me go back. He was in a situation where he had to. Um, he had no choice but to like mash. And that's what he did exactly, right? He mashed. Nope. Oh, no, I micro-ducked him. So he he decided to block the meaty, and then he tried to counter-poke with stand one, which is eight frames. Lose negative seven on forward four three. Um, a lot of people won't even understand what I'm saying because it's framed out shit. But since since I'm negative seven and he tried to try to interrupt with a seven frame, uh, eight frame high, I micro-ducked his stand one. If he would have had a seven frame stand one, I wouldn't have been able to do that. He would have jailed me. But since he had an eight frame, I was able to micro duck him, which I knew. Uh, Cetron gets abused by uh, micro ducking by Lou because she can't, she can't interrupt his staggers with anything besides down four. All right, going into this game. Also, going into this set, I was definitely like um supposed to lose like a lot of people were like oh got the interrupt on the so yeah Lou can actually interrupt ex wall with one two three if she exes it if she doesn't ex it i actually don't i can't punish it because it doesn't reach 
All right, he's just playing. He's just outflitzing me at this point right now. But uh, going to this set, I, I think I just came off ninth at Evo. So, um, but before that, I was doing pretty bad in the Pro Tour. Actually, before this tournament, I won Online West. So, but yeah, Dragon has never gotten less than second at this point. No, he hasn't lost anybody but Sonic at this point, I believe. Or I might be wrong. I think he actually lost to Waz and um, Samij at Combo Breaker. But besides the fucking point, I was supposed to lose. Everybody was like, on paper, this is supposed to be Dragon moving to top A. This is also for top A, by the way, guys. This is supposed to be Dragon's win. Um, but of course, you know, underdog boys, people always sleep on me. But it's understandable, you know. I'm sometimes very inconsistent. And then sometimes I randomly just come out with a big one. I got whiff punished terribly bad. Embarrassed, smacked in my face. Alright, Dragon is just like steamrolling me at this point. Citron just has these rounds where she's steamrolling. I actually believe Dragon's one of the best rushdown players of like actual all time in NRS. Like, but for some reason he he tries to go for the zoning approach a lot, even though he's a really good rushdown player. And as you saw, he micro duck OS my fucking grab, which led to me just losing 20. And I flying kicked into a boulder because fuck it. I try to flying kick, try to hopefully start something. At this point, I was like, all right, let's bring it back to character to like evaluate this because it's first to two. It's literally, you only get, you only get two chances to allow your opponent to win, and if you don't make that adaptation, boy, I hate first to two. But um, yeah, at that point, Dragon kind of steamrolled that game. I won the first one. Thank goodness I won the first one. It gave me a little, it gave me the ability to almost in a way throw a game. But not really. You don't ever want to just like you want. If you can close a set out 2-0, just fucking do that. Shit. All right, he started this round off confident. Dash up stand one into grab. Straight, basically just two straight highs. He teleported my low fireball. At the fucking the one time I throw a low fireball, he teleports and and counter hits me. Counter hit KBs me with two uh two one four or two one three. Yeah, everything is just going wrong for me at that point. So if you guys don't know, if Cetron throws a bowler from full screen, she can jail it into a, or frame trap it into a, a geyser. At this point, I'm like, okay, I have fatal blow. I can still, I can still, I can still rob some shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I have fatal blow. The reason why I wasn't fly kick punishing those uh projectiles. See, I got robbed right there. That would have KB'd. If that would have KB'd, that flying kick would have KB'd. I would have had one touch away from fatal blow. Okay, now I am one touch away from him. And then he just woke up jump. He's actually a maniac. So, Dragon took a huge risk right there, which could have led to his life. He decided, he opted to wake up jump when he's one hit away from death. And if I would have simply just meted it, I would have won right there. Or well, won the round, at least. Okay, yeah, he was trying to get a little too comfortable with doing meterless walls, so I dashed up at 4-4. Four four. The reason why sometimes uh, Dragon does micro duck to stand one, that's what I'm talking about. Whenever I do staggers and micro duck to stand one, it's because C uh, Cetron has an A frame high. See, right here, I was low key like, oh, fuck. Like, he has Fatal Blow. If he touches me a couple times, he can kill me. I read that stagger. I already knew it was going to happen right here. Yep. He stand one. I read that he was going to stagger. So I just interrupted. I had to I had to end his momentum before it got started because if he would have got got to uh, you know flowing and moving he probably would have fucking took that round. I dashed up in his face, hit him with a four four k. Oh, and Dragon at this point is literally just trying to read my grabs for for some reason, and I think I micro ducked him right here. Nah, he's still trying to read me grabbing. And then I micro ducked him. Yep. So. Hmm. I'm gonna let these commentators talk. That is actually huge. That is so important for rewinds. This guy made his first trip to EU. First trip. Having to deal with with the traveling, with jet lag. Don't underestimate jet lag. One Guys, this is real. This is my first time, and it's real. Oh yeah, that I forgot about that. This was actually my first time going out of the country, so I was super jet lagged. Like around this tournament, it was probably like. Around the time I would I would be asleep at this point in America. You have to think this is in Ireland. They're eight hours ahead of where I'm from. I'm from the West Coast, so I'm on Pacific Standard Time. They're eight hours ahead of me. I wouldn't even be awake at this point in the bracket. 
But yeah, um, that was a really important win for me at that point because it got me in the top eight and I needed those points. And as you guys already know, I won the event. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys know if you haven't, Celtic Throwdown is a tournament. You can watch the whole run. But um, the thing that got Dragon killed in that last game was he tried to read my grabs three back-to-back -back times. Or I think it might have been two back-to-back -back times when he did not have the life to afford to make a hard read like that. In his mind, he was like, all right, if he grabs, I'm coming back. You know, because if I would have thrown... He would have ducked it, and he would have got a big punish, like a really big punish, probably down to crushing blow, 30 or 40, and then even the life. But, yeah, it actually ended up getting killed because I was like, you know what, fuck this. I'm not throwing. I'm forward for him. And he decided to um, – actually, let me go back to a certain part. In the beginning of the last round of that last game, I started off the round with dash up forward four, and he tried to check my dash, but he got counter-hitted in the process because – he reacted like, look, dash. Watch, I'm on dash. Dash, he tried to react, got counter-hitted. He reacted too late. And then he ate 35 for, for trying to check. Then he tried to wake up buns. He actually tried to wake up buns. I don't remember if he... Yeah, he already used his KB, so I don't know why he would do that. Watch, I'll show you right here. He tries to wake up 2-1. And then he gets checked for 22. Now look at his health. In the span of, like what 30 seconds he has already lost around over half his life and then right here i'm like i'm gonna keep checking fuck it if i grab it's just gonna it's just gonna be for no reason if i grab i'm basically asking to die because he's gonna keep trying to read these grabs so i check right here stag i stagger then i poke him and then i check him again because he tried to read another grab which led to another 22 percent now he's one touch away from death i believe i check again and then our micro duck is high. So yeah, it was just a bunch. It was literally a really good round. It was just a bunch of wrong reads on his end, and a bunch of perfect reads on my end. He actually, I actually read. Look at how much defensive bar he has on the bottom left, right? He could have rolled right here. He could have rolled after this, right here. Boom. He could have rolled. But last time I showed him respect because he had bar, he fucking jumped over my head, and I, yeah, he won the round. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Even if he has bar, I'm gonna check him. And that's exactly what I did. And, now on life. and then I micro ducked him. The rest is history. And keep in mind, this is our first time ever playing offline. This is our first time ever coming across each other in bracket in an offline setting. So this is pretty big for me in my mind, you know. But at, I was very confident going to this match. You know, I know who I am as a player. A lot of people were probably like, oh shit, you know. Rewind be Dragon. That's surprising. But, you know, it's not to me. But Dragon, of course, is a legend. Top two NRS player of all time. But yeah, <laughs> that's going to wrap it up for this video, to be honest. It was short. It was first two. Um, the only reason the last video of Sonic and me versus it was so long was because, for one, it was first to three because we're in top eight. He reset the bracket. We played in top We played in top three. To, so we played to get to grand finals. And then in grand finals, he reset me. Then I had to beat him in another set. That's the reason why that video was like 30 or 40 minutes. But I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning into Inside My Mind, episode two, Rewind versus Dragon, Celtic Throwdown. And I'm going to try to, well, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to, uh, you know, post these kind of videos at a more frequent rate. You feel me? Because right now I'm kind of just posting it when I feel like it. But if I should, you know, get a time frame like once a month or, you know, once every two weeks or once a week, post one of these, you know, then it'll, you know, just let me know. Because right now I'm just doing it when I want to, but I want to know what you guys want me to do. But all right, guys, take it easy. Be smooth.